Two years more behind bars for criminals refusing to attend sentencing. The new laws backed by the mother of murdered nine-year-old Olivia Pratt Corbell, whose killer cowered in his cell to avoid hearing the devastating impact of his crimes. I just hope she's, um, she's proud of what we've done. Because at the end of the day, it's in her name. The power of custody officers to use reasonable force will also be enshrined in law, but how easy will it be to implement the changes? Also tonight. Lucy Letby's crimes will be investigated by judge-led inquiry, compelling former hospital managers to give evidence. ITV News sees firsthand the impact of Hurricane Idalia as it makes landfall in Florida. Hurricane Idalia is now making landfall here in Florida with exceptionally strong winds driving rain. Why the right to roam freely through the countryside is proving divisive. And an array of tasty treats. How the school packed lunch is now so much more than jam sandwiches and boiled eggs. This is the ITV Evening News with Gamal Fambele. Good evening. When the Prime Minister met Cheryl Corbell today, he was able to pledge that the change in the law that she and other families have been campaigning for will now take place. Her campaign was launched after the man who murdered her nine-year-old daughter, Olivia Pratt Corbell, refused to attend court for his sentencing. ITV News has followed Cheryl's struggle, and she described the anguish of Thomas Cashman not being present to receive his jail term or hear her impact statement. Now, under new rules, judges will be able to force offenders to attend sentencing hearings. Some are saying the measure may be hard to implement, but as Chloe Keedy reports, for people like Cheryl Corbell, it is a simple matter of justice.